Since the start of Russia's invasion, the U.N. says more than 7 million people have left Ukraine, some relocated here to Colorado. Denver 7's Colette Bordelon introduces us to one of those refugees who is now creating beauty after the chaos of leaving her home. I think that art has no rules. A blank canvas for Anastasia Petrenko. That's why I went to abstract painting. Means she's free to create anything. All we okay. need is isopropyl alcohol and inks. Between her techniques. I just turn on my hair dryer. <laughs> and the colors. Yellow okay. and blue because this is the color of our Ukrainian flag. Anyone can see what's special to them in her work. I did art before, but as I came here, I started uh, doing this much more often, like every day, because it helped me to express my feelings. She moved to Aurora when the war started. One day I woke up and I realized that I have no home to come back to. But her family and friends are still in Ukraine. It's hard times for me to be here and when my family is struggling with some war. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's okay. Sometimes her emotions spill over onto the paper, where they're free to take whatever form feels right. This one, this one. These finished paintings will be part of a gala on Saturday called Art of Ukraine. My family and my friends call me Nusik. Her art shown alongside other Ukrainians, like this man who's fighting Russian forces for his country's freedom. But getting the art from Ukraine to the U.S. was far from easy. I had to collect all these paintings in Lviv because it's the safest city in Ukraine. The craziest part, that she, when she got to the border, she had 10 suitcases with her. Meet Maria and Maria. My son calls, calls us artaholics. <laughs> Best friends who are doing what they know best. You can't do an art show without the art. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bringing pieces of their home here. People want to move on yeah. to, you know, what's new, what else is going on. But it can't become old news. And for Petrenko, who puts her heart into every piece. You just add some dots over here. The life she leads isn't one of freedom. You lived one life, and then you should live another life. Yeah. And. It wasn't your choice. But with every bit of color she adds to the paper. It's not only about art, but also about Ukraine. She feels free and wants the same for her homeland. Colette Bordelon, Denver 7. The Art of Ukraine Gala is tomorrow night. To learn more about it, go to ukraineaidfund.org.